Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Boris Johnson, his wife Carrie, and Meghan Markle. So if you don't believe that instant karma exists, well, after watching this video, maybe you'll believe a little bit in that. Why am I saying so? Because I remember when Meghan was being attacked by the press and uh, a group of MPs in the UK from the Labour Party signed a petition asking the press to stop all the vile, sexist, racist attacks against Meghan Markle. And the Prime Minister at the time, Boris Johnson, was asked what he thought about it. He just said that he didn't support racism or, or sexism, but he didn't see any thrown at Meghan Markle in the press that he believed in the freedom of speech of the press, the freedom of the press. And also, when she won her court battle against the Daily Mail, he was all about making sure that the press is able to work properly, that people don't misuse their right to privacy. He was hinting that Meghan Markle did something, used her right to privacy a bit too much or abused it. From on the front page of the newspapers in England these past weeks, there was articles after articles about his wife, Carrie. She was described as a mean woman, someone that has too much power over her husband, someone that likes to control Boris, and someone that is a control freak, someone that's a narcissist, someone who wants any control in any time and the prime minister can't do otherwise. So these are the same tactics that was used to slander Meghan Markle to create a very a uh, monster-like character in the eyes of the public. I'm very happy that this is happening, not because I have something against Kerry, right? Just is because it's going to teach the Prime Minister a good lesson when it comes to empathy. He dismissed calls from MPs in the government to do something about the bullying against Megan. Now his wife is going through that. She's being called all names in the dictionary. She's being given a bit more respect than it was given to Megan Markle, but still she is being slandered in the press, just like Megan has. The only element that's missing here is the racism bait that really plays against Megan Markle in this case. Well, yeah, hope now that maybe this is going to learn something from this experience. Let me know what you think. Hope you like the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post.